Basic Concepts of Immunology Introduction The word immunology is derived from the Latin term immunus meaning exempt as the source of English word immunity it means the state of protection from infectious diseases immunity the immunity is a condition of being able to resist a particular disease especially by preventing proliferation of pathogenic microorganism immune system The immune system is a complex system in structure and process that protects us from diseases by providing resistance to infections and toxins. History In 1798, Edward Jenner initiated smallpox vaccination. In 1877, Paul Eldridge recognized mast cells. In 1879, Louis Pasteur developed an attenuated chicken cholera vaccine. In 1883, Eli Mechnikov developed cellular theory of vaccination. In 1885, Louis Pasteur developed rabies vaccine. In 1891, Robert Koch explored the late type hypersensitivity. Basic concept of immunology. When the immune system recognizes self as self and non-self as non-self, then the body is in protected state. When immune system recognizes self as non-self and non-self as self then this condition leads to autoimmune diseases and other diseases respectively There are two types of immunity innate and adaptive immunity Innate immunity Characteristics of innate immunity It is the first line of defense Innate immunity is developed naturally at birth. It is non-specific and has no memory. Innate immunity has four types of barriers: anatomic barrier, physiological barrier, cellular barrier, inflammatory barrier. Anatomic barrier: skin. Skin acts as a barrier between invaders that is pathogens and the body the skin has sebaceous gland which produces oily secretion called sebum the sebum has lactic acid and fatty acids which maintain the ph of the skin between 3 and 5 which inhibits the growth of microorganisms eyes eyelashes prevents the entry of pathogen mucous membrane The alimentary, respiratory and urogenital tracts are lined by mucous membranes. The slimy nature of the membrane prevents the entry and adherence of the pathogens. Other mucal defenses include secretory antibodies such as IgA, lysozyme, surfactants and antimicrobial peptide called defensins. Cilia Very fine hairs called cilia lining the windpipe moves the mucus and trapped particles away thus preventing the entry through the epithelial layer ear it has a waxy secretion called cerumen which has antimicrobial property and the fatty acids present in it lowers the ph between 3 and 5 physiological barrier temperature Rise in temperature causes fever inhibiting the growth of some pathogenic organisms. Tears. Lysozyme in tears cleaves the bond between NAG and NAM in peptidoglycan component of the bacterial cell wall. Lactoferrin inhibits microbial growth by chemically binding and sequestering iron. IgA antibodies inhibits bacterial and viral adhesion to epithelial cells and neutralize the bacterial toxins and virus both extra and intracellularly. Saliva. Lysozyme present in saliva has antimicrobial property which breaks down the bacterial cell walls. Gastrointestinal secretion. The intestinal tract is lined with epithelial cells interspersed with mucus secreting goblet cells. 
This mucus mixes with material received from the stomach, trapping foodborne microbes and debris. Skin Coloration Melanocytes produce melanin that has antimicrobial activity and prevent cell proliferation. Perspiration It is the process of sweating. Sweat has lactic acid, folic acid, and high salt concentration which has antimicrobial activity. Cellular barrier Cells involved in innate immunity. Phagocytes Phagocytes are the cells that ingest and destroy pathogens and the process is called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is performed by neutrophils, macrophages and dendritic cells. Mechanism of Phagocytosis Chemotaxis and adherence of microbes to phagocyte Ingestion of microbes Formation of phagosome Fusion of phagosome with lysosome to form phagolysosome Digestion of ingested microbe by hydrolytic enzymes Formation of residual body containing indigestible material Discharge of waste materials Neutrophils Neutrophils are the first cells that act at the site of tissue damage to eliminate pathogens, especially bacteria, by phagocytosis. It quickly ingests and destroys microorganisms. Monocytes Monocytes are the largest white blood cells that migrate to tissues to become macrophages which perform phagocytosis. Macrophages engulf and process the pathogens and cancer cells. They are involved in wound healing, tissue regeneration, and in pro-inflammatory activities. Dendritic cells are present in tissues like skin, lungs, and intestines. They present antigens to B and T cells and also secrete cytokines. Eosinophils Eosinophils release the histamine contents from their granules that kill pathogens. They also produce a variety of growth factors and cytokines and mediate communication between immune and non-immune cells. Basophils Basophils have histamine-rich granules and involve in inflammatory responses and allergic reactions. They help in the secretion of cytokines involved in the maturation of T helper cells. Mast cells Mast cells secrete heparin, histamine and other factors which help in wound healing, angiogenesis and elimination of parasites. Natural killer cells Natural killer cells are cytotoxic cells that have small granules with perforins and granzymes that destroy infected cells and cancer cells rapidly. Inflammatory barrier Inflammation Accumulation and activation of leukocytes and plasma protein at the site of infection or injury. These cells and proteins act together to kill the microbes and eliminate the damaged tissues.